Hi, I'm Jill King. I'm a paediatric doctor with a special interest in infectious diseases and immunology and I'm currently working towards a PhD in Professor Wallace's lab at the MRC Centre for Medical Mycology at the University of Aberdeen. Uh, well, I was working in Aberdeen as a clinician um, and I was keen to pursue a career as a clinical academic in paediatric infectious diseases and immunology. Uh, and I got to hear about the world leading research um, being carried out by the Aberdeen Fungal Group and particularly the work that Professor Warris has been doing looking at invasive fungal infections in susceptible hosts. Um, and the opportunity came up to come and work with the group and I really just jumped at it. My research is looking at invasive aspergillus infections in patients with a particular type of immune deficiency called chronic granulomatous disease or CGD. Um, aspergillus are ubiquitous environmental moulds. We all inhale thousands of spores every single day and it doesn't cause us any problems. Um, but for patients who have CGD, these everyday encounters can lead to invasive infection. And unfortunately, the treatments that we've got aren't always effective. And even with appropriate treatment, aspergillus infections remain the leading cause of death in CGD. Part of my, my PhD is looking to see whether we can improve treatment outcomes by dampening some of the excessive inflammation we see in CGD patients when they have an aspergillus infection. And the other aspect of my PhD is trying to understand why patients with CGD get a particular type of aspergillus infection called aspergillus nigillans that we don't see in other patient groups at risk of um, aspergillus infections. The setup in Aberdeen is really great. Um, we've got a wealth of expertise in fungal biology and immunology, so there's always someone to ask um, and always someone to help um, if you're, you're stuck on something. But we also have access to a brilliant range of university core facilities with specialist skills in flow cytometry, in histology and microscopy, and in proteomics. Um, and this has allowed me, with the help of the flow cytometry team, to really use novel cutting edge flow cytometry techniques and to develop a 14 colour flow cytometry panel to really try and get to grips with what's going on with the innate immune response to aspergillus infections in the CGD lung. The MRC Centre is a really friendly collegiate place to work. It's attracted researchers from around the world, which means we've got a really international, diverse group of researchers, and I think this helps to add to the really open, friendly nature of the group. Um, there's a lot of expertise here. There's always somebody to ask if you encounter a problem, and there are also a lot of visiting researchers from other research institutes, which leads to lots of collaborative discussions and lots of help developing project ideas and research ideas. Um, I like running, hill walking, water sports and skiing, so Aberdeen's really well placed for me. I've got lots of green space, I've got easy access to the Cairngorms uh, and the seas on the doorstep as well. I'm also an avid knitter, um, which is great for the long, dark Aberdonian uh, winter evenings. When I finish the PhD, I'll return to clinical practice to complete my training as a paediatrician. As a more long-term plan, I hope to become a clinical academic in paediatric infectious diseases and immunology. And my time in Aberdeen has really been invaluable in terms of trying to develop research questions, understanding research techniques, and also making contacts with researchers in the field of medical mycology.